What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It's time to play some more Slay the Spire. We are doing a silent run right now. It's actually going really well. I'm pretty stoked with our relics thus far. Um, apparently it didn't save when I opened the chest, but it's no biggie because they're not randomized. We got the specimen, which plays right into our poison build oh so nicely. You basically have to have that in order to do a good poison build. And so, I mean, you don't have to have it, but it's one of those things where having your poison transfer to another monster whenever it dies kind of a big deal because you have to waste a whole bunch of time trying to stack more poisons we got a lot of money I'm gonna say that we should make our way to a store about as fast as we can so I'm gonna go this way even though we're gonna miss out on some question marks oh this guy sucks this guy isn't that bad though if you've got poison so I think we'll be all right we just kind of got to whittle him down a bit uh, I'm gonna run god we didn't catch anything I wanted on this turn all right, uh, let's work on his armor a little bit, I guess. I was hoping I would get poison, but I guess that's just not the way things go. Uh, let's pass the turn and see what happens. He's got lots of armor. He stacks more armor. Um, actually, I don't know if he stacks. Yeah, he does. He stacks a lot of armor whenever he defends. He gets like plus 25. It's kind of brutal. Uh, let's go. We'll roll a double defend right there. And then I'm going to alchemize. I'm actually going to play this a little bit weirder. We got an energy potion right there. Not bad. I'll run a strike on him just to show him that we don't play it like that. He might be a big old sugar ball thing. I was talking about that on stream when I was playing this game on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. Or, yeah, Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I was saying he looks like a he looks like a gobstopper. He does, doesn't he? He looks delicious. Like, there's the vanilla sugary parts. He's like a hard candy. Then you get, like, that little infusion of strawberry on the inside. But I bet it's nowhere near as awesome as that. I bet it totally sucks. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a great deal. Okay, let's put some poison on him. That'll start to get rid of his special ability right there. Uh, he's already nerfed us so that we can't get a lot of defense. That's not very special, but we'll get 8 out. We're going to take a big hit right here. I'm not going to play that because it exhausts, which means the card is burned for the rest of combat. And we're about to take some damage. And so I'd like to save it for the reshuffle if I can. Uh, there's the first big hit right there. So that's going to drop us down by 2. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's go Poison Stab. And we're going to go Deadly Poison. That'll get rid of his resistance now so that we can burn on through it. We will run Neutralize. And this is actually a mob that this character struggles with. It's not as bad as some of the other matchups that you can get. But it does hurt. So watch out for that. I could give myself 2 energy and get 9 block right now. Yeah, sure. Why not? We got a free potion. We're going to dash on him. There you go. We broke his armor. And we were sitting at 9. So we're not going to take any damage right there. We had an extra potion. We ran Alchemize. I don't think there's anything to worry about right there. And we're back at the beginning of a fresh deck shuffle. So hopefully we end up with something sexy here. And he's going to run a bunch of dashes and whatnot on us. I'm going to throw... So we've got three coming from right there. We get ten block from right there all together. Or I can run that. That'll give me six. We'll run that. So six plus nine. And then seven. That'll give us sixteen. That will block a little bit of the pain that's coming right now. I'm going to put some weak on this guy since we have like an instant runoff for loads and loads of armor. So I'm going to go block right there. Discard a strike. We'll put a dash on him just to keep his armor down a little bit. And that gives us a 13. So we'll only take... Actually, we'll take no damage. I forgot about the extra three we're getting from right there. So that worked out pretty well. That's going to keep us a little bit safer. That's why I saved bandage up right there. Because I knew we were going to need it a little bit later on. I'm going to go nine block right here. And then we're going to throw out a strike, and he should go down pretty quickly. This mob can rapidly get out of control, though, because he can block and attack at the same time. Uh, much in the same way that we can, which makes him a bit more troublesome than I like dealing with. He's only got three damage left on him, so I'm okay with that right there. Uh, we'll roll that, too, and we'll just finish the combat off. I could have killed him with that one at the beginning, but... 11 gold and a new card for the deck. I'm going to go with Choke. Choke is a fantastic ability. Uh, choke is a card. We'll go look at it real fast because I just realized I clicked through kind of fast. I'm used to playing on stream. So everybody on stream already knows all the cards because I've been playing it for like a week now. And so we got Choke. And not just Choke. Choke Plus. Uh, which means it's been upgraded at a forge. Uh, it deals 12 damage. And anytime anything else in that turn hits that enemy, it deals 5 more damage to it. Uh, if we can get another Flying Knee or two, I feel like that'll play in really well later on. So basically right now, all I want to do... Oh, this guy kind of sucks too. This guy can be a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's roll deep. Uh, I'm going to go with Poison Stab up front. Get at least a little bit of something something moving on him. I've got a defensive ability right there. We're going to burn Doubt to throw that out so we don't get weak. 
And then that gives us 18 armor. I didn't even need to do what I was doing. I forgot I got the 10 at the beginning. That was very inefficient play, and I am embarrassed, my friends. I am very embarrassed by that play. That's not a good one. But if there's one thing you know about me, Splattercat being who Splattercat is on the internet, I'm going to make dumb plays every now and again, and I'm just going to have to live with that fact. We got 18 damage coming out. Uh, that means it's a good idea for us to run a... We get plus 5. That'll get us there. Good stuff. I'm going to run a flying knee on him, too. So there it is. That'll knock. He has the same status effect that we have, although he has it to a much greater extent. Like a crazy greater extent. There's the 18. Looking good. That took care of us. And he's getting whittled down by our poison right now. So it's always good when you're running a poison build. Who would have thought that when you're running a poison build, you want to put a lot of poison on the enemy? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh, I'm going to run another dash on him, I guess. So there it is. Dash is a fantastic ability. If you're not running it, I highly recommend that you do. Put some more poison on him. We got 12 damage up right there. We got one more for defend or for skewer. Let's go for skewer. Knocks away his armor and knocks down his little buff a little bit further. Uh, 12 armor right there. We're not going to take any damage from that one either. Good stuff. I think we should be up for heal up pretty soon, I think. I'm going to negate his damage ever so slightly with a weaken attack. And we are going to get 5 armor at the end. Yeah, I'll run dodge roll. That seems all right. And then we'll just run a couple of strikes on him. Perfect. And he's going to take 11 damage on the next turn. Good stuff. He's getting whittled down fast. It is not a good day to be him. This potato tuber monster over here that looks like it's getting invaded by Cthulhu's dong. Uh, should be able to get out of our face pretty soon. Uh, I got four health back right there. That's great. I'm going to run a dash attack on him. That's all of his armor gone. I will do... Oh, we don't have anything but defensive abilities left. Okay, dodge roll's cool. I like dodge roll. Poison's going to get him before he acts anyway, so goodbye, my friend. Let's see what cards we got. We got a dexterity potion right there. We've got slice, and we've got another dash. I'm going to take slice. Slice is nice. I like slice. Now, we got a question mark block here. Venturing through a series of tombs... You are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin, however, as you do notice a black fog seeking out from both sides. Okay, I'm going to take the relic, and we get Writhe, which is unplayable, and it starts out in our deck the first thing, on the first turn. We always end up with it in our hand. Uh, we got the Pen Nib. Every tenth attack we play does double damage. You push open the coffin. The fog dissipates harmlessly. Inside, you find the mortal remains of a decorated soldier grasping an old relic. Apparently, he was a fan of his pen pal. Uh, you pilfer it and move on. Apparently, that's called a nib. Alright, so first turn here. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, that's a pretty good hand right there. I think that works. We're about to take one to the five, but I have neutralized right there, which I think will drop that down to a zero. So we don't even need to play around with his ass right now. I'm going to go with a little bit of that on her, just to show her that I don't play that noise. I think on the first turn, she puts a hex on you. Yeah, she puts a hex on you that makes it so anytime you use a skill or a power, you end up with a card called Dazed in your inventory, which is massively a pain in the ass. Trust me, it's not funsies. Uh, we've got a little bit of damage going out right there, one to the five, but I'm going to get five armor at the end. So I'm going to play Choke on her. After choke, we're going to go with poison stab, and that's going to keep her all nice and lined up. Basically, we want her to go first. Uh, she's got to die. He's not really that big of a concern. I would highly recommend you get her first. Uh, if you let her play for too long, bad things are absolutely going to happen to you, and it's going to suck. You're not going to enjoy it at all. Let's throw out a little bit of pain over here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to play the Dexterity Potion right now. I'm going to play things a little loosey-goosey. Uh, if I was playing defensively, I could put up the, de uh, the Dexterity Potion for more block. She's going to start doing some pretty gangster stuff soon. And so is he. So they're going to start... She's got plus six to strength right now. And so she needs to go on this turn. Unfortunately, we have taken a lot of damage. and We have no defensive cards right now. This turn is going to hurt like hell. So yeah, run the Defensive Potion. Uh, let's get seven block out right there. We'll go flying knee on her. We'll throw a poison on her, so bare minimum. We're about to get whomped on. Uh, it's one of those unavoidable things that we got a bad hand on a bad turn. And so, you takes what you gets here. Uh, we're already down on our armor right there. And a little bit worse. A little bit worse. That's half of our health all in one go. 
We got a whole bunch of dazed all in one turn. We got a fire potion though, which is great. So I'm gonna throw that on that one. That fool's down now. The poison transfers over to him. I'm gonna bandage up because this next hit is gonna need a little bit of protection. Not a good fight for this character. This character doesn't have the solid DPS to knock these guys down in the first couple turns uh, like the Ironclad will. So you find yourself kind of in a rough situation. I'm going to throw that out. That's going to weaken the blow. I'm going to throw that out as well. And we're going to throw out a strike and that fool should die from poison on the next turn. And we managed to make our way through. Nasty stuff. That was a fight that got us into trouble. No lie. We got an elixir right there. We've got a backflip riddled with holes or quick slash. I like backflip. Let's go with backflip. And then we're at a store. So we should have an opportunity to get rid of some of these troublesome cards that we have in our inventory right now. I'm going to get rid of Doubt. That's going to cost us 75 gold. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. We have the Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at campfires. Not bad. We have Unceasing Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Pretty good as well. We have the Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, draw... Ooh, get an energy and draw one card. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, that's 239. That'll leave us with like 150 left over. There's nothing here that I'm stoked about. So I'm going to take the Gremlin Horn. Can't afford Enlightenment. I want Enlightenment uh, because we get those turns every now and again where we have a bunch of dashes in our deck and I want to be able to play them all when they're in our hand. Seven damage in one week. I don't really care about that. Dodge roll can be okay. I'm going to go with footwork, and we will save the rest of our money. Uh, region potion might be a good idea, so I'm going to take that with me. We'll play that on the next combat. I'm going to go to a campfire, though, and I think we're going to rest off that last fight. It did more damage to us than I'd like to admit. It put us in a rough situation, and frankly, I like things silky smooth. I like things to be like glass. Uh, this guy's going to go 7x3 on us, not if I can help it. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to neutralize that. Takes it down to a 5x3. Uh, that's a 15, so we're good. We can run Skewer on him. Bam, bam, bam. Nice, so Skewer on making attack damage. Gains 7 block. Block gain increases as malleable as triggered. Resets to 3 at the start of his turn. Okay. Understandable. Well, we made it through the first turn without uh, gaining any guff. And so that's got me nice and happy. I'm going to play Footwork, which is a power that gives us two dexterity permanently, makes all of our defensive abilities a little bit better. I'm going to run Alchemize to get a Poison Potion, which I'm going to throw right now. So there it is. Uh, we don't need Dodge Roll, so I'm just going to deal damage. Armor's up. He's not doing anything. He's doing a negative effect on us, Enfeebling Spores. So that gave us Busted Armor, and that gave us a little bit of Busted This and Busted That. Okay, we'll get 9 block from that right there. He's got 21 going out. We do need to figure out a way. Oh, this is a good turn for us to run Choke, though. So 9 damage from Choke. Uh, 6 from there, plus 5. So 11 and 9. So 29. That'll almost get us there, but not quite. Instead, obviously I'm going to run Slice. I'll run Flying Knee so that next turn we get more armor. And I am going to run Dash to at least get a modicum of armor up and running so that we don't eat this as nasty as we would normally eat. We're going to take seven, but, you know. Sometimes you take damage in this game. There's no way to work around the cards when the cards don't want to be worked around. Uh, he's not doing much on this turn, so let's get him with a Poison Stab. Him with a Strike. Deadly Poison. And I guess I'll throw up a Defense. He's going he's gonna to wish he was never born after this anyways because his poison is stacked up to the point right now where he's really going to have a hard time recovering from it. Uh, backflip, five block and two cards. I'll take that. I just wanted to see what I would get. doesn't really matter to me. We'll poison stab him to death real fast and that'll be that. And that was our double damage attack, I think, right there from the pen nib. I love the way they put a little counter on it so you know when it's happening. Uh, another flying knee. I think is going to be, ooh, Masterful Stab is always tempting. But Flying Knee is what we need right now to really make this deck pop and make it work the way that I want it to. I think it's worth it to go to the store and just look and see what they have for right now. Uh, leg Sweep's pretty good, 2 weak, 12 block. we got Stab right there. We've got Noxious Fumes, which is great as well. Uh, we also have Bane on the left-hand side, which I'd like to pick up one of. Let's go with Noxious Fumes. 
And we've got a treasure chest. So let's look inside this coffer and see what it's got for us. The Frozen Eye. Oh, and viewing the draw pile, your cards are now shown in order. Not that great of a... It's okay, depending on what you're trying to play. Oh, that's a nastier fight. Okay. This is going to suck. we got to take somebody out nice and early. Now I want Noxious Fumes, because that'll start getting rid of their artifact every single turn. We'll go Flying Knee on him. And we have no damage going out on the first turn. So no stress, no harm, no foul there. He's going to put some Dazed into our deck, and he's going to armor up to 65. However, if we're lucky... We're very lucky about the way that we play this. The poison that we put on people at the start of our turn will eat away all of their defensive measures right there. And that will be glorious beyond all belief. Uh, let's go with Dash because we got a big grip of damage coming in. That guy's down. I'm going to play... I'm going to play Backflip real fast and just see what we fish out. Uh, we got a Healing Spell, which is great. Deadly Poison Plus, which I'll play just to whittle him down one more on his little artifact rating. And then we'll hope this goes well. What's in my deck right now? Oh, we got Choke, Defend, Dash, Dodge Roll, and Alchemize next turn. Not my favorite. It's it's alright. Start of the turn. There goes his last little go. Um, I can go with Alchemize right now, which I think would be good. He's got a lot of damage going out, though, which is bad. We get five. So there's eight. A little more of that. Uh, let's deal... A little bit of damage right there to get the block. That takes us up to 18. We're only going to take two damage, which I think is largely acceptable. I'm going to drink the regen potion, just in case we start taking some hits that I don't want to take. Because that'll actually take the edge off that last strike right there, too. Uh, weakness has not. Block wears off, so we got block right there coming in. We got 10 going out. Dexterity would be a good thing to play right now. Poison stab would be even better. So let's play Dexterity. We're going to play Block, and we're going to play Poison Stab to get him started, because he's only got 20 HP. I don't know if you noticed that, but he's actually not that tough. Um, he goes down pretty fast from Poison if you can get through his little Automaton ability. Okay. Neutralize sounds good, so that takes him down to 14. I'm going to run Defend, Deadly Poison, Survivor. We should get bumped up to 16, which will make us, or 17. Sorry, I'm bad at math. I thought I had three, not four. Uh, he'll be gone on the next turn, though, from the Poison, and so that's absolutely great. We're still getting stacks from our Noxious Fume, which is actually making it so that that never trickles down, which is a great place to be at. There's a little bit more Poison for him, give him something to think about. Throw out some dashes and some other stuff, and then he's going to die from the poison. Anyways, I'm just doing that for style points so that we can look a little bit sexier as we go into the combat. Uh, let's see here. Outmaneuver is really good, too. I like outmaneuver a lot. Quick slash is nice to have as well, though. I'm going to go with outmaneuver. Outmaneuver, when it's useful, it's useful. When it's not, it's not. Oh, shit. This is going to... This is a really hard fight. This is bad. Okay. Let's run Footwork is going to be tempting here because these guys are actually very troublesome. They deal a lot of damage really fast. So if you can't kill them off within a series of turns, um, you're going to you're going to suffer for it. You're going to bleed for your swag a bit. Uh, there's a little bit more, but he's still not down. Unfortunately, our first turn bonus right there is not going to help us out much. As I talked about in the previous episode, every single turn, these guys put a buff on themselves that makes them a little bit stronger every turn. And so the first turn, you want one to go down. Second turn, you want to at least get started on another one. Let's do Flying Knee over here for a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll do Neutralize on you. Poison on you. A little bit of block right there. That'll get us up to 10, which means we only take a tiny bit of damage on this turn. Because he's going to go down from the poison. Those guys are going to take... Oh, yeah, it transfers. Good. Fantastic. That'll help out a little bit here. Uh, apparently, Outmaneuver is still in my hand. Why is Outmaneuver still in my hand? I don't know. Uh, give me a dash. It's a nice little ability to play right now. Uh, outmaneuver. Keep poison going on up. Uh, that puts me at 17, though. Um, 
Keep the damage going out. I think I'm going to have to play this one balls against the wall. Just balls flat up against the side of it. Otherwise, we're going to have major problems in like one turn. And that's going to go up even more on the next turn. So be aware. These dudes just keep getting stronger. You have to get rid of them. I'm going to run you right there. Uh, noxious fumes, obviously. Deadly poison on you. Mm. Dodge and roll will do better here because he's going to die. He's going to deal 12. And the extra armor next turn might save us some AP. I think it's possible that it might save us some AP. And I'm a fan of anything that saves me AP. All right. So we made it out of this without taking much damage. That's actually pretty amazing for this combat. Yeah, I think that might have been just about what did it for us there. Run bandage up, obviously. Uh, give me a flying knee on that side. Give me a defend and give me an alchemize for more potions. That's a swift potion. That can be really good if you end up on a turn where you have like 3 AP left but nothing left in your hand. Uh, that card right there can save thine ass if you wanted to make it biblical. I'm going to run backflip because we didn't really get that great of a hand. Go with that. Go with that. There we go. And we are on the yellow brick road to victory. We came out of that one surprisingly intact. That fight is actually a deal breaker. Uh, that fight can really mess you up if you're not careful about it. We've got Predator deal 20 damage and get two more cards next turn. Predator plus, in fact. That's Infinite Blades plus. I do like Infinite Blades. We do have Choke in our deck too, so Infinite Blades might play out pretty well. Predator is solid, though, if you're running an energy deck because it will allow you to... You can hit people, have energy left over, and the next turn you get even more cards for when you have even more energy left over. And so both these cards are pretty good. Uh, that's 20 damage, which is a pretty sizable chunk. I'm going to take Infinite Blades, though. Uh, do we fight or do we take a campfire? I'm going to take a campfire. We need to upgrade some more stuff. I need better cards. Uh, so we've got Flying Knee over here that we could upgrade. Noxious Fumes, I think, is a pretty good investment. Outmaneuver is a good investment. Footwork is a good investment. There's a lot of things here that we could do a lot of cool stuff with. Backflip Plus is solid as well. Uh, slice just goes up to 8. Alchemize becomes free. Ah. Okay. Well... Let's go with Noxious Farts. I want Noxious Farts to be upgraded a little bit. Um, it just tends to tick up on things, and it can be really bad for the enemy if you can get significant stacks of that stuff all up in their face. Uh, she's got to go first, in case you were wondering. We want her to go. Infinite Blades, obviously a good play right there. We started with 10 armor. They're doing 20 damage. So... We are going to have to do something about that. There we go. That's taken care of. Put Deadly Poison on her. And that'll work for right now. Not the most advantageous turn. But a turn where we at least got something done. And we blocked all their damage, which in the short and skinny of things is actually okay. Uh, we got 12 damage to deal with on this turn. That means I'll run a dash right there. We'll run a slice right there. We'll run a shiv right there. And that puts us at 14, which blocks his attack. So I'm going to go all in with a little bit more damage. Could have gone with dodge and roll right there if I wanted to play it safer. But this basically gets her out of our hair. Uh, she's the one you want to target in this fight before him. She's going to be buffing and doing all kinds of rowdy stuff. But he tends to take turns off without playing around too much. So don't stress about it much. Uh, the poison's going to get transferred over to there. We've got alchemize. I do like alchemize. Let's run noxious fumes. Uh, we will put that out right there. Neutralize is free damage, so why not? Outmaneuver for next turn and alchemize for this turn. I can't carry any more potions. Okay, we'll drink the shitty potions then that I don't want and we'll kind of diversify. I thought it was going to let me swap them out. I've never actually been in that position where I've gotten potions when I already had too many potions. So, interesting place to be at. Weakened has worn off. Uh, bandage up would be a good play. Four poison right there. Bandage up, play a shiv, play a flying knee. We're going to have too much energy, so we're going to drink that potion right there. Uh, footwork is a good play. 
7 block right there. That gets us up to 12. It's not perfect, but nothing in this game ever really is. Sometimes you have perfect plays, but the majority of the time you're making do with what you have and trying to get the best combo off. 2 damage. I can take 2 damage. 2 damage is not that upsetting. Uh, we've got free cards in our hands right now, so I'm going to play Choke. I'm going to play Dash. I'm going to play Shiv. And he's going to start taking some pretty serious combo damage. We can do 7 or we can do 8. If I do 8, that's... Oh, either one's a kill. It doesn't even matter. Our, our damage on him was a little bit more additive than I thought it was. Um, I think Leg Sweep is a pretty good ability out of all these. Dagger Spray can be nice depending on what you're trying to do. It combos well with Choke because you can focus fire somebody while spreading the damage around at the same time. Flying Knee. Adding more Flying Knee to your deck is never going to hurt you. It really sincerely isn't. Like, Flying Knee is a fantastic ability, and the more of them you have in the deck, the better. This is a special purpose fight right here. So what this guy's going to do is he's going to put Confuse on us at the start of the match. When he puts Confuse on us, the effect that that's going to have is that it randomizes the cost of all of our abilities for the rest of the match. So keep that in mind. Now you are going to have to play around that a little bit. 14 damage, 16 damage. Yeah, do the 16, I guess. We can knock a pretty considerable chunk off of him before we get started. I would love to do that. Unfortunately, we waste our first turn anchor right there, which is a bummer, but we're confused now. Confused can actually be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. It just sort of depends how the game goes. Uh, it was a bad thing on this turn. It made everything cost way more than it should. Luckily... Hmm... We have to run a defense. We're on a flying knee for next turn. We don't really have any other options. We'll take the five damage right there, but I have a bandage in my inventory, so I'll heal up, and hopefully that'll make things a little bit better. Uh, Shiv is back up. Looks like over here we ended up with a free defend. That's great. We ended up with strike at its normal cost. Slice and Shiv doing their own thing. I'm going to run those. Uh, I will do footwork to make our defensive abilities work a little bit better from now on. And we will do dodge roll. That'll give us some armor on the next turn, allow us to future stock a tiny bit. This would be a great place to have the unceasing top, because anytime we run out of cards, it gives us another card from our from our deck. And so it's basically impossible to run out of cards as long as you've got energy to play them. This turn came out okay. Could have been worse. We got a couple of free strikes right there. Uh, I could have played Choke on him before I did this. Hold on. So if I play Choke, that's 13. He's down to 33. That's 10 more damage. 23. 12 more damage. Yeah, it might have worked if I hadn't played that other strike, but I guess I just screwed myself over. Uh, let's run Backflip for right now. I'd like to stay safe on this fight. We'll run Shiv. We'll run our Free Strike. And we'll run... Our free slash right there, too. And that was actually Pen Nib proc'd that one, so it did a little bit more damage, too. I wonder if it, I wonder if it increases the extra damage you get from the other thing. I'm actually kind of curious about that. I'm a little bit curious about it. I want to know. Uh, bandage Up is good to go, so there's a little bit of health back. We got Outmaneuver for free, which is great. Uh, we've got Dash at a reduced cost for 28 damage right there. Good, sweet lord, baby Jeebus. And out of that card stack, we can get another Noxious Fumes. Uh, don't underestimate the ability of Noxious Fumes to stack up. It's pretty good. And with that, we'll take ourselves to the final campfire before we get to the boss. I'm going to smith some stuff up. I think we're going to go for upgraded Noxious Fumes so that we have two upgraded Noxious Fumes in our deck. Uh, that way we can give plus six poison to an enemy per turn. Yeah, buddy. This is Slay the Spire. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, everybody. If you want to get the game for yourself, get it down below. You want to see me play this game live, check it out on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. And if you wanted to support me, hit the like button. If you want to support me further, check out the Patreon, all right? Bye, everybody. Everything's down in the description.